Hello, my beautiful people, and welcome. Welcome to your channeled message reading. This is the Dream Clear Boya. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you're doing well, feeling safe and feeling blessed because you are. So let's go ahead and get started on your reading. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for guiding us. Let's see here. What is the message for someone out there? What is the message? We're going to use both the Kipper deck and the Gilded Reverie deck. What is the message? You have false person. Hmm. You have house. Hmm. And you have courtship. Okay. Holy Spirit, tell us more. Clarify false person. Everything is fine. False person. Five of wands. Tell us more about this message. Seven of pentacles. Hmm. Tell us more about this message, Holy Spirit. Four of Swords. Hmm. Six of Wands. Hmm. Something here is being hidden. Like something, that false person, you see how the woman's covering her face with the fan and behind her is a man that has a mask? Something's going on around you, but it's, like someone's purposely hiding it. Someone's trying to keep it hidden from you so that you don't find out about it. It's connected to a house. It could be a house that you live in. It could be a home, building, residence, establishment. Hmm. Everything is fine because you're not, like you're not in the middle of this conflict. It's hidden from you. It is about you. It is pertaining to you, but you're not in the middle of it. Uh, you're not even aware of it, right? Well, at least until now. Five of Wands is conflict, chaos, drama, competition. You're fine. As much as it's pertaining to you, you're not caught up in the middle. And again, this is being hidden from you. I feel like it's being hidden from you because you're being called to focus on yourself. Like the seven of pentacles, you've clearly been persistently working towards something here. Like you have some goals that you want to achieve. Okay. And with the four of swords, four of swords is like contemplate. Like I feel like the divine does not want you to be distracted by this. There's, there's other important things that you should be focusing on. So even though I'm revealing this to you, please don't, don't let it consume you. Where now you're restless, you're nervous, you're anxious, you're fearful, you're paranoid, you know. So there's certain things where you'll find out about it, but it doesn't mean that you should give it all of your focus, all of your attention. Okay. The Six of Wands is here. Victory, recognition. You are clearly someone who's been getting a lot of attention, whether you know it or not. Again, it feels like whatever this drama is, someone doesn't want you to know about it. But Six of Wands, you get attention. What is this courtship? The courtship is coming together. It could be that people are competing to be with you. Yes, the Six of Pentacles. People are competing to be with you so much to the point where like they each have an offer for you. They each have something like a gift. They each have something that they want to give you. Page of Cups. These are romantic suitors. Okay, with a page of cups, page of cups is like admiration. The six of pentacles is equal give and take. Hmm. Or it could be that your romantic suitors want you to give them your time, your love, your attention. I feel like your romantic suitors want you to give to them. Like, of course, they have a cup of love, but they want your attention, right? With the six of pentacles, like how the woman's giving to these two people. They want you to share your attention, your time with them. So if there's anybody else who's competing, like your romantic suitors are competing over you. That's just what you should know. The death and ending. Why the death? 
the Five of Cups. Oh boy. The death is an ending. The Five of Cups, regret, crying over spilled milk. Let me see. And the Hierophant. You've gone through some sort of spiritual or symbolic death. Like you have evolved, you've grown, you've transformed. The death leads us to transformations. Whenever there's a death, there's a rebirth. Five of Cups, there's something, or let me see, what is this stuff? The Hangman. Or is it a person? Oh boy. Oh, I keep on getting this feeling like someone feels like they've messed up. Yeah, that's what it is, Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords is the truth and clarity. It's a big yes. Someone feels like they've messed up. Someone feels like you're not interested anymore. Four of Cups, you're dissatisfied, you know, you're unfulfilled, you're disinterested in that you're going to let this one go. Like you're going to end, end things. But it feels like if you do end it, you're going to end something here prematurely though. It feels like you didn't really give it a chance. And I feel like that's what the enemy wants. The enemy is trying to create some sort of conflict and confusion around you because there's an opportunity for love. And the enemy wants you to allow this conflict to get to you to the point where you end up getting up and leaving. There's someone around you who wants a romantic chance with you. The enemy is causing conflict and confusion, competition to cause you to, to just get up, say you're fed up, end something and walk away. That's what the death is, an ending. The enemy wants you to be the five of cups, regretful, pessimistic. Because with the Hierophant here, there's an opportunity for marriage. The Hierophant is a big marriage and commitment card. And that's what you need to be aware of, the hangman and awakening. There's a big opportunity for a romance that will lead to marriage. This person is around you around your vicinity, we can say, it has to do with the house, some sort of house, home, building, property, establishment, residence, neighborhood, community that you're connected to. And it's just a matter of time for the both of you to meet if you haven't already. But this person is, this person feels like someone has messed something up. This person feels like because of the conflict and chaos, you're going to end, you're going to put an end to something and you're going to leave and the Ace of Swords, truth and, and clarity. They do not want you to do that. They do not want you to leave. They don't want you to give up. Justice is here. They feel like it's not fair because they probably weren't the ones who even started this conflict. Justice. You see, it wouldn't be fair. It is a third, it's third parties. The, the devil's using, the enemy is using outsiders to cause the conflict and chaos, to frustrate you, to get you to feel like, oh my gosh, this isn't for me. This isn't working out for me. Let me leave. So that you won't get to enter this soulmate connection that will lead to marriage. The five of swords. See how this woman's smirking at these two people who are crying and separated? Yeah. The enemy does not want the two of you to come together or to stay together. This is someone who maybe you've been with. For others of you, you haven't even had, to, had the chance to come together with this individual. The enemy is already causing conflict and chaos so that y'all won't even get the chance to come together. 
For others of you, you do know who this person is. You have been with this individual and the enemy is trying to create a lot of conflict and confusion to frustrate you into leaving this individual. It's the same tactic. If you just sit there and reflect, it's the exact same tactic that the enemy is using. Getting outsiders, external forces to sabotage your soulmate connection. It happened in your previous relationships, in your previous soulmate connections as well. It's an external force. It's an external conflict, it's not an internal one. This is a conflict. Don't look at this as me against my lover. Look at this as me and my lover against this problem, against this conflict. The two of you should fight this together, not fight each other over the conflict. It's the same tactic. King of Wands is here. Who is this King of Wands? Tell us about this King of Wands. King of Cups. It's the masculine. This man is fighting for, for love with you. For some of you, this could be new love. I want y'all to know that just because you see a king of wands doesn't mean that it's someone who you know or someone that did something to you. Okay, there's four kings in a deck. And each storyline, each reading that I do has different storylines. When a person shows up as, because uh, I want to disclaim this because some of you have trauma from a person who uh, the king of wands could have represented in a reading. Okay, and you're still holding on to that trauma. You haven't forgiven the person. So now every tarot reading you watch, if you see a king of wands, you get upset. You get upset at the reader. Don't do that with me now. Heal. If you got traumatized by a king of cups, king of wands, king of pentacles, king of swords, you need to heal. Not every reading is about you. Not every reading is about that person. And so let's learn to respect people's readings. If it doesn't resonate with you, it doesn't mean that you have to discredit it because it doesn't fit your story. I'm not your personal tarot reader. I read for thousands of people. When a person shows up as a king of wands, it's action. The cards aren't even necessarily genders. You could be a man or woman and, and embody the energy of the king. The king of wands can represent you whether you're a man or woman. The king of wands is all about action. So when you're in that action mode and you're asserting yourself, you're most likely going to be represented by the King of Wands. That's all that it is. Okay. You're this masculine here. There's a lot of passion that he has for this relationship. He's even showing up as a King of Cups, a man who <laughs> he's in love or he's getting there, or he's falling in love, or he's romantically interested in someone. He's showing up as a wand and a cup. That's a beautiful combination. Passion and a whole lot of emotion. But I feel like he's frustrated. I feel like that's why he's showing up as a wand and a cup. Uh, I like seeing a wand and a pentacle. That's what I like to see, you know? Um, but... When I see a wand in a cup, that's a lot of feelings and emotions there because the wand is all about fire and passion. And then you mix it with the king of cups, which is someone who's very emotional. This masculine here is getting very upset. He's in the upright, so he is composing himself, but he feels like he's going to, uh, he or she feels like, uh, I'm saying he, because whoever this person is, they're in that masculine energy. But he feels like if he doesn't get things under control, he is going to, uh, things are going to, he's going to lose. He's going to miss out on an opportunity to be with his feminine. Let me do that again. Came out kind of funny. Yeah, his feminine, the lovers. It's a soulmate connection. But there's problems. The house card could even represent a family, a family unit. There's a problem here in a household, a home, residence, establishment, neighborhood, community, or family. 
external forces, external people are trying to sabotage a very beautiful soulmate connection. The devil. The devil. The devil is using outside people, places, and things to influence your soulmate connection. Protect your relationship. Protect your soulmate. Protect the connection. Guard yourself. Guard your soulmate. See how this woman's holding on to her pentacles? Yeah. Guard yourself. Stay in control. Don't let outside people, places, and things trigger you into making hasty decisions out of anger and frustration. This person doesn't want you to know about the conflict that's going on. They don't want to make you even more upset. It could be the masculine here who is running after this and trying to get things under control. They could be running after this, trying to get things under control. And so perhaps the masculine doesn't want the feminine to know what's going on. Because the feminine seems already upset. He doesn't want to make things worse. Uh, I feel like the masculine is doing exactly what he's supposed to do. Take charge. Um, so the feminine for now is in the Eight of Swords. She's in this mental prison. She's blindfolded. She doesn't know what's going on. And remember, very early on, I was like, yeah, there's some conflict here pertaining to you, but you don't know about it. That was exactly what I was sensing. And look at the cards that are confirming it now. Um, the Three of Swords. What this masculine is doing, he is uh, causing a separation here. He is, he's making sure that the troublemakers leave. Okay? He is separating the troublemakers from his life. I don't know who these troublemakers are, but what the, you see, the three of swords is a separation. He's getting them away. I just saw the image of blazing fire. I just saw the image of a blazing fire. I think this masculine is starting to see these people as nothing but trouble. I just saw an image of, of a blazing fire. He knows that they're trying to create an, up, an uprise. And he knows that it's being done on purpose. He knows exactly what's going on. The Nine of Swords. A mental imprisonment. The Nine of Swords is someone being in distress. Clarify the Nine of Swords. Yes, he knows that they're doing it on purpose. You, you know how the feminine showed up as an Eight of Swords being in this mental imprisonment? He knows that what these people are doing, it's causing the feminine to be in distress. He knows it. It's putting her in these swords. Her mental state isn't the best right now. She's freaking out. This feminine could be someone who does carry some trauma where maybe this is what happened in previous connections. Outsiders sabotaging her or trying to sabotage her. Outsiders targeting her, plotting on her, conspiring against her. And he's, this masculine is mature enough and also discerning enough to figure something out here that what these outsiders are doing, it's causing her to go into these swords. This mental imprisonment is stressing her out. He's seeing a pattern. So he's recognizing a pattern and he's realizing that these people are doing it on purpose. This is not, this is not a stupid masculine. He's putting two and two together. He knows that they're doing it on purpose. The more, the more uh, conflict, the more she gets into these eight of swords, nine of swords. And they're doing it on purpose. It's, it's, they're targeting her. He's, he's connecting the dots. See how this woman is here, Nine of Swords, having sleepless nights? And you see the Ace of Wands? He realizes that whenever there's conflict and chaos, it puts her in this mental imprisonment. It puts her in this extreme distress. And so they do it. They keep on doing it. It's a pattern. 
These outsiders know exactly what they're doing. Look, it's an attack. Eight of Wands. <laughs> he knows. Judgment. The judgment, yes, it could represent a final decision, calling judgment, but it could also represent something being called to your attention. He's recognizing a pattern here. This feminine should know that she is in good hands, despite the trauma from the past, despite the, the past lovers who have failed her, it doesn't look like this new one will. He does not want her to prematurely end this connection. Especially if it's such a new connection where the two of them haven't gotten to know each other yet. If the two of them have been together for a long time, he wants it to continue. He wants this connection to have health and longevity. He wants it to last forever. He doesn't want any premature endings. What I've already noticed about this masculine, he is clever. He is, um, how do you call it? He's very insightful. He can analyze a person. Like he's able to understand what people are doing, even if they think that they're doing it secretly. And the moment, every time something triggers this feminine, he knows it and he gets up and he takes action. That's why he keeps on showing up as the king of wands. Action. You see this man sitting, he's sitting up. He's not leaning back. He's sitting up and he's about to stand up. So that's why he keeps on showing up as a king of wands. He's not sitting back, letting this just happen. He's taking action. But I also love how he's not just a king of wands, he's a king of cups. He's emotionally balanced, emotionally mature, very, very compassionate and extremely intuitive. The king and queen of cups are very intuitive people. They're pretty much empaths. Judgment. He's seeing something clearly that this is all being done on purpose. The magician. You see? The magician is willpower, but it could also represent an orchestration. He's seeing that it's being done on purpose. Wow. Mm. His lover, the queen of cups or love interest is the target. He knows it. Why? Because this woman here will most likely be his empress one day. His future wife, mother to his children, all of that good stuff. If that is what the two of you want. He's realizing what the enemy is doing. Trying to cause a premature death. A premature ending to his relationship or his future relationship depending on how new this connection is or how old it is. He realizes it, that the things, all the things that are meant to happen in the future between him and this feminine, the enemy wants to cause a premature ending, ending so that those things that are meant to happen in the future won't come to pass. And yes, this feminine is a divine feminine. She's showing up as a queen of cups and the empress. Those are the, the, these two energies are both the energies of the divine feminine. He's understanding something now. He's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Where's all this chaos coming from all of a sudden? Ah, it's happening because there is a significant soulmate who I have met, who I have encountered. This woman is significant to my future. That's why the enemy is causing all of this conflict. This man is very insightful. The two of cups. The more the enemy tries to destroy this relationship, the closer he takes a look at it. The enemy is trying to chase you off and chase him off. No, the more conflict, the more noises the enemy causes, the, 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 the more he, he goes towards this relationship wanting it more and more because he's wise. He understands that when the devil's hot on your tail like this,
there's something good about you. When the devil's trying to mess up something like this, it must be a good, a good partnership. It must be a significant soulmate connection if the devil is so determined to cause this kind of conflict. This man is not going to run away. King of Wands is a warrior. And King of Cups has the emotional intelligence to understand a conflict, not run away from it. So he's realizing that, ah, this woman is significant to me then. She must be. There must be a future with her if all of a sudden the enemy's causing this kind of trouble. An unwise person will flee, will allow the devil to chase them off. Wow. He's realizing it. He has a, the perfect understanding. This man is like, if the enemy is after my relationship, my soulmate connection like this, then this woman must be the one for me. This must be something good. This must be something worth fighting for. Wow. And you know, I love how he's handling this. He's keeping it under wraps. He doesn't want to alarm her anymore. This feminine is very sensitive when it comes to people targeting her. Because perhaps she has been a target for far too long. But she's no victim. She's not a victim. They can target her all she wants. The enemy can target her all they want. But they can't make her their victim. They will become a victim to their own stupidity. They will fall in the grave that they've dug for her. They are, they are ruining their own life. They will sabotage themselves. And thank goodness she has encountered a soulmate who has the discernment to understand what's happening. Because if it were any other person... They wouldn't be able to understand this situation from a spiritual level, from a higher perspective. They wouldn't. They would allow the enemy to chase them away. I have to, I have to commend this uh, divine masculine for the way he is approaching this situation. He is immediately acknowledging his feminine sensitivity to conflict and chaos. She is easily triggered by conflict. That is a trauma response that I'm sure she is still healing from. He is also immediately acknowledging the patterns, the patterns of these third parties the outsiders that are strategically causing problems but thinking that they can hide their hands. He knows what's going on. But he's resolving. He knows what's going on and he's resolving the conflict in a way that won't heighten, in a way that it will not heighten her sensitivity. It will not heighten her stress, her stress level. Okay? He's not going to say, yeah, there are people who don't like you. Yeah, feminine, there are people who are doing this and doing that. He's not going to say that. It's just like adding more fuel to the fire and it'll cause her to be more sad, more in distress. He's not going to say, yeah, those people were plotting on you. He's not going to say that. He's going to handle it like a man, drive these people far away and reassure her that everything is fine. He's going to reassure her that everything is fine. Look at the card. Everything is fine. He's not going to tell her what he found out that so-and-so was doing against her. That's just going to trigger her some more. He's going to handle it like a man. Make sure it doesn't happen again. And reassure her that everything is fine.
This man wants to be with this woman so bad. It's almost like I can, I can feel his heart pounding, beating really, really fast. He doesn't want this to ruin. He doesn't want this to be sabotage. And he has understood, you know how I always say on the channel, God reveals to redeem. My dad says that to me all the time. And I remember it for the rest of my life. God reveals to redeem. There was so much that God revealed to this divine masculine through this conflict. He has learned so much about these troublemakers, these people, but he has also learned so much about the feminine. This is a man that is very attentive and clever. He is now aware of her triggers, her sensitivity. He may even be able to get some insight on her story, her, her past, without her having to tell him. This feminine has a pattern of shutting down completely when there's conflict. She's exhausted. She's tired. She has a pattern of shutting down. That's what he has noticed. He's not going to say it. Look, nine of wands. There's trauma that she's carrying. And we all have some sort of trauma in some way, shape, or form. And we must heal. No matter how long it takes, we must continue to heal from those traumas. I said trauma and the nine of wands is here. The nine of wands literally represents trauma. Trauma, paranoia, defensiveness. It's a bad mental health card. See the bandage around her head. She's not showing it. She's showing up as a queen of a uh, queen of swords. She's tough. She she has a poker face. She appears fine. She's not showing it. But he can see it. Nine of Wands. Nine of Wands. She's a wounded warrior. He can see it. Despite how well composed poker face she appears, he can see it. Wow. He's gained insight, the high priestess. All knowing, the high priest is all knowing. Some of you feminines think you're 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 attentive. And insightful, wait till you meet this masculine, if you haven't already. He's doing everything right, if you ask me. Holy Spirit, is there anything else? He's doing everything right. Because it's how this connection will continue to move forward. This connection is not going to end here. The chariot is forward movement. Forward movement. The chariot is a success story, is a success card. The chariot carries a success story. There will be a coming together and there will be a continual coming together. Two of cups. This man is not playing. <laughs> Divine feminine. He's not playing. <laughs> the magician. He knows what to do. He's very experienced. He's carrying the pentacle, the sword, the cup, and the wand. He knows what to do. And that's why he's doing the doing. He's doing it. He knows what to do and he's doing it. He's in this action energy. The king of wands. Don't be surprised if, if for, for the next few days you sense a lot of peace. He wants things to be 100% peaceful around you. He wants everything to be peaceful around you. 
so that you can have a peace of mind. I'm going to tell you this. Didn't I say he's trying to get things under control? The emperor taking charge. <laughs> Let me tell you this. For half of you, this is somebody who you have been in a connection with and you like this person a lot. For others of you, this is someone who is so new that the two of you haven't even had a chance to come together. They could still be sort of checking you out before they can come forward. That's how you know if this reading is yours. It's either someone who you've been with and you genuinely like this person, which is why it's upsetting you so badly that there's so much conflict. Or this is someone who is very new to you. They're checking you out before they can come forward. They want everything to be perfect. And that's why they're so attentive when it comes to your environment, your surrounding. They want everything to be good before they can come towards you and introduce themselves, present themselves to you. Is there anything else, Holy Spirit, before we conclude the reading? Is there anything else, Holy Spirit, before we conclude this very positive reading? You're about to start seeing some changes around you as well. The Three of Pentacles is working together and collaborating. You want to know who this man is? I just told you he's connected to the house. It could be a house you live in, a building you live in, a residence, establishment, um, something, a place in your neighborhood, community. He is not directly connected to you because it's a Three of Pentacles. Okay? It's almost like a friend of a friend. But not, not that he's a friend. It's one of those things where, okay, what's a good example? Um, and this is for those of you where it's new, where this person's so new that you haven't even, you haven't met each other yet or introduced yourself to each other yet. Um, it could be that this place that you're connected to, maybe he works for this place. Maybe he owns this place. Maybe he manages this place. Okay. Maybe he is an investor in, of this place. It's something like that. He plays a big role, but he's more so behind the scenes. If this is someone who's new, of course, if this is someone who you've been with, then yeah, I don't have to tell you how you met them. You already know how the two of you met. <laughs> But that's the hint, because if this is someone new, you're like, who could this be? You know, Seven of Cups. You're thinking about it. And so that's why Spirit's giving you a hint. You do collaborate with this man in some way, shape, or form, but it's indirectly. Um, for others of you, you know how you guys met, and you like this person a whole lot. So don't allow external conflict to frustrate you to the point where you give up on something or someone who you love that's the message that is the message you guys i really hope that this reading was helpful i hope it brought you some great clarity and confirmation if it did please don't forget to like comment subscribe to support the channel i love you all so much if you're interested in connecting with me i'll put my information in the description box you're always welcome to check out my website you can make a donation if you want to support the channel more you can submit a prayer request you can join my intercessory prayer list um i will be closing i'll be doing my last my last period my last segment what word should i use I'll be doing my last period of um, private readings, okay? And I'm going to be ending private readings this week. I won't return to doing private readings probably until 
the middle of next year, 2024, or late next year, 2024. So if you've been interested in connecting with me personally and getting some insight and reading with me, take advantage of this opportunity because I will be ending private tarot readings very soon this week, okay? So if it happens, you can't say you didn't get a chance. Um, but yeah, that information will be in the description box. Take care, my beautiful people, and many blessings to you.